been an immense personal privilege and pleasure working with the Foresighters for the last few months. Um, they've allowed me to see the cutting edge of their field and really get to understand the science. And in working with them, we've been able to bring some foresighting methodology, techniques and tools that have helped them to stretch their imaginations and to create provocative, personal, challenging visions of the future. For me, the excitement was around projecting into the future. We don't really, in a business sense, get that many opportunities to do so. And it was great to do so with uh, the scientific community that you find here at Imperial. It's been a really, really fascinating day and a great opportunity to actually learn more about the, the, all the different cutting edge technologies that are being um, developed and researched here at Imperial. Uh, this morning was good fun actually. Yeah, the lecture went really well and I thoroughly enjoyed talking about, you know, essentially all the ideas that are in my head. The tutorials definitely seem to work in terms of getting people to relax and start to engage with the ideas and almost take ownership. I, I wasn't expecting, I didn't have any preconceptions about what it would be like, but actually I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been really stimulating, really exciting, very thought provoking. I think that's the whole point of academics to some extent, isn't it? I think within the commercial world, everyone is consumed with the current emergency, next 12 weeks, next 12 months. I think academics can step back and think from a sort of longer perspective. And, and there's not necessarily the pressure to instantly commercialise or prove that something's a good idea. They, you know, they are the thinkers in society without some of the pressures that other thinkers have. It's the inventions and the innovation that comes out of the labs around uh, me here at Imperial College that will become the trends that people in industry will be discussing in 10 or 15 years time. So this is the place where it starts. <laughs>